Somebody bought me a bunch of this for my birthday. Just can't seem to get through it. I hate the goddamn taste of it. But beer is beer, I suppose. Well, I was picking up some scrap the other day. Came across this uh, big piece of this, like flexible steel tubing. I think it's uh, sort of galvanized. Seeing as that it was sitting outside for a long time, it's not really rusty. I don't really know what it was used for originally, but I tell you, back in the day, when me and my buddies were. In the old days, you know, the good old days, trying to make an exhaust in the driveway to go to school, do burnouts. You remember they used to have those big long pieces of flex pipe? I think it was like uh, at Pep Boys, they had the barrel on the uh, end of the aisle and they had like cherry bombs and stuff and then they had those big long pieces and they're very thin metal. But uh, my first car, an 82 Cougar, straight six, I made that whole exhaust with that flexible tubing. <laughs> I thought I was, I thought I did a nice job. I put that from the front all the way back, and man, it didn't last a couple of days. It fell off. But anyway, I wish I had some of this stuff back in the day. I don't know what it was, like I said, but... I had immediately had some ideas, and uh, seeing as that you saw the way I had the uh, muffler on the other video, well, I wasn't really thinking, you know, and I just sort of welded a piece of metal to that pipe there, right to the frame, but... It was too rigid, you know. It snapped right off right away, so I didn't even really drive it anywhere. I mean, just moved it in the driveway, and just the tension of it snapped it off over there. So this is what I made. Got a little rubber piece. I also got under there and uh, put a little more weld on that front pipe because... Uh, <coughs> That little piece of, uh, I think it's like probably one and three quarters pipe or something that I used under there, that was actually galvanized something probably for like uh, electrical wires or something on a house, but I didn't grind it down or anything, so I just uh, turned the old Lincoln up, turned it turned it up and uh, really melted it and it seems to stick so we got it nice and solid bracket there bracket there we got the whammer jammer taking flight same muffler same old muffler came on the farm truck don't know why I still have it we're still using it. So, you might be saying that that is, that's a pretty crazy exhaust. You might even say it's wacky. Well, if you remember, I mean, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you might remember a thing around the holidays called Crazy Tony's Wacky Christmas Time Exhaust. Whatever car he was driving at the time, it's usually a max $300 beater. Um, he would make a 
Christmas exhaust. And what he would do is come right off the tailpipe, and he would have like a, it's like a piece of like dryer vent or something he would get from uh, like Home Depot or something like that. And uh, he had his secrets, you know. There were there was his secrets. He didn't give out like, you know, what was really involved in the whole, the whole job. But anyway, you search that. Go to my videos and search for that. You'll see. There's a few on there. The best one was a van. I thought I liked the van the best. It was a shorty. Four point three. Chevy van. Probably about a. 88, 89, I would say, and he had that coming straight up, and then he puts the garland and the lights, no one could ever figure out why it didn't melt off, but he had a way of doing it, and uh, he would have those lights lit up. right around Christmas time and he would drive wherever he needed to go it was his everyday car and uh... The smoke would be coming out the stack and it was sort of a tradition and uh... last Christmas he sent me a video he did it on his uh... Mitsubishi Eclipse convertible so Unfortunately, I don't get to hang out with my friend anymore. Had to move away. There you go, Miller Lite. It's got a little weird taste. I don't know, but. So. Hopefully Crazy Tony appreciates my uh, my exhaust job, and obviously it's still not done, but that's the start of it. Thanks for checking it out, and uh, you know, I'm getting close to the holidays, and uh, I don't know, it's almost Thanksgiving, but... Um, you know, take a look, you know, you're walking down the street, maybe you still, maybe you want to take a walk, it's kind of cold, but you might want to look around, because you never know, one day, oh yeah, one day, you'll see me on the streets.